the Green Lantern issue eight, Grant Morrison writing Liam Sharp uh, on art. Yeah, this this is wild. This is uh, full Morrison. Oh God. Um, he's he's doing the, his old thing of reviving a one-off Silver Age concept and running with it. So, is this the cover that was the my ward? Yeah, is yeah. This is, the, this is the Space Junkies issue. Um, oh, I like that the, the cover looks old school. It looks like an old Green, green yeah. Arrow, Green Lantern cover. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's straight from Hard Traveling Heroes. Yeah. The whole issue, kind of between the, the you know uh, Hal and Ollie's dynamic. Is kind of straight from that. Um, so you know, it opens on a on a different planet first, um, Hadia Maxima. It's basically just a big cartel world, and um, but with like this weird sense of honor where that no one dies of old age because they have to die in battle, like they have to. So they have to, you know, but or more specifically, they have to be murdered. Um, so like you know, they like they kind of like uh, whoever murders them takes their place in their organization. So when they're ready to like, okay, I'm I'm ready to be done here now. You know, like they choose who they want to murder them, uh, and and kind of <laughs> let them do it. Yeah, it's weird, but um, basically, you know, there's this whole this killing going down, and and the 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 the, the head honcho says to to his his um his employees like, hey, look, you know, there's there's a rival out there. I need him I need him whacked, but. That's not good enough. I need the whole planet whacked, and he's he's on this planet, which is of of course Earth. So that that that's the the thing there. He's off to go and take out Earth, mm-hmm. kind of. Um, but this is where we actually, you know, we we cut back to Earth for the first time in this book in a long time, if if ever, really. We we got like a little brief glimpse in uh, the first issue. Yeah, and and we got a bit on the when they got miniaturized. Um, okay. But we've not really seen a lot of it. This is, you know, out on the street. There's a guy here I'm pretty sure is meant to be Gerard's. Uh, who's, uh, you know, he's, he's like a, a waiter and he's getting harassed down the street. Uh-huh. Uh, and, you know, and Ollie shows up and starts taking them out. And, uh, yeah, and then and Hal shows up behind the guy. And he's got a, you know, his, his construct is made a fishing rod. And, you know, he goes, oh, catch of the day. And Ollie just without it, he's like, oh, "Come on, catch of the day. You know, you can you can do better than that. And if you're gonna do it, at least do it in a Schwarzenegger voice." <laughs> and and the guy is that you know he's he's hanging in the air on this fishing rod, and it's like, "You guys are insane. What's going on? What's happening? Just put me down." And um, this is where we get we get this panel of like, okay, we we see some kind of weird version of of Ollie and and Hal watching over what's happening, and they're talking in this weird language i can't, it, it's not even um like you know uh, standard you know alphabet it's like a this cursive script um it's it's unusual and ollie's in the classic hat in this in this i mean he's he's not in the in the the main issue he's you know the regular ollie is, is wearing his hood you know the outfit that he's had for a while now mm-hmm. um but this version that, that we're seeing look over him is is in the the hat and um it's a little bit weird you know what's going on um you know uh, they go back to Ollie's place and you know have a bit of chit chat, a bit of banter, kind of catch up on what's going on, why he's not staying with Carol, and you know, and they go, all right, okay, let's figure out what's going on. This guy's a drug addict, and turns out what they're actually doing is the only drug that he's on is uh, an anesthetic. Uh, it's essentially what they do is they extract their souls, and they're doing this voluntarily so that they will feel numb. Um, okay. Because they, 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 you know, they're sick of the world and they don't want to, you know, and they, they, they've got no hope for whatever they're doing. So they're just going, screw it, take my soul. Uh, and then, you know, that's going off to be sold to, you know, rich people in, in, in across the cosmos. And you get a lot of, uh, you know, Ollie being political here. He's like, oh, I can't believe that, um, you know, that, that people are willing to sell their souls to be numb in this world. You know, this so-called president has a lot to answer for uh, <laughs> is, is a line that he says. Oh, not too subtle, is he? No, but I mean, is Ollie ever? That's I mean, true. That's true. Especially he doesn't when have a subtle button. <laughs> no, yeah. um, but they're actually like they're flying in. Hal's got him on a big flying horse construct, like a big Pegasus, and they get there, and they're, you know they're they're on the docks, and there's a big giant green arrow sticking out of the building, like a giant bloody arrow yeah like, like key to the fortress of solitude big kind of yeah yeah 
and it's like and and uh, Hal's and I say, hey, what were you saying about you know grounding myself with normal things on it while I'm on Earth? Uh, you know, just giving him shit, and uh, you know they get in and and. and and always like, hey, this is kind of familiar. There's um, there's all these like mini rockets on the side of the arrow. I'm just like, I feel like I've seen this before. And and I was like, oh yeah, a huge arrow shaped object seems familiar to a man who calls himself Green Arrow. I'm shocked. Um, but then they find you know the 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 big green hat, and it's like, what's what's going on? They go inside, and there is a giant version of of Ollie, kind of knocked out on the floor. He's he's down. Mm-hmm. Now, this is where uh, Morrison has revived a single-issue concept from the Silver Age. Okay. So I, I did have to go and do some... Because they, they called it and they were like, okay, it, it all works in the issue because I went and re, you know, looked it up after. I was like, what is this? This is a Zine Arrow. That's X double E N. This was a, an issue. It was a one-off issue that Kirby was on in, in, in the Silver Age. And... And there, it's from Dimension Zero. There, there are these you know beings that are giant. Um, you know, and, and this was there was an adventure where it was you know Oliver and, and and Speedy. They went over to to Dimension Zero and ran into this guy. And uh, but he communicates telepathically, so he's kind of talking to Oliver, but not to Hal. And Hal's trying to translate like brute force his way in through the ring. And mm-hmm. so we're only getting bits of it. Um, turns out his body isn't designed to be on our Earth. So the the stronger gravity is, uh, you know, just crushing his lungs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's like, you know, uh, the idea of if you scaled up an insect, you know, the, 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 the skeletal system wouldn't be able to cope. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the same here. So th- they, apparently they have these like um, gravity belts to compress themselves when they when they visit this plane usually, but it got broken by this uh, villain. Um who are, you know, it's, it's this guy in a yellow jacket and like a, a red, uh, like a black hood sort of thing. Um, this is apparently the the villain from that issue uh, in the Silver Age, um, but Morrison has now retooled him into being the the other cartel leader uh, from this other planet. Uh, you know, we we have a a bit of a fight here. It's uh, it's pretty good, and and then they're like, okay, the the they figure out that um, you know he's he's got a, a target on him, and so the the other. Uh, mobster who was dispatched to take him out is on the moon and he has a giant gun thing aimed at this building to take him out so Hal has to using the ring pick up the giant bow from Zine Arrow aim it out of the big hole in the side of this building create an arrow with his ring Uh, oh no no he takes the arrow that was shot into the building and shoot that at the moon to take out this guy and it's ridiculous and it's insane um but then zine lantern shows up you know a giant version of, of green lantern shows up and and takes away you know that that warlord into custody um uh, yeah yeah it's it's insane uh the, the final bit is um we uh we see sinestro you know he's he's sitting around with the uh with the warlords although it is notable. This Sinestro, his colors is in the classic costume, you know, the the purple, yeah. and black, but the colors are reversed. So instead of being you know, mainly black with the purple collar, right, it's purple with the black collar. So presumably this is antimatter Sinestro. Oh, so, good lord! Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so I'm, I'm excited to see how this goes. I know next time has some some multiversal stuff going on. We have got Green Lantern of Earth twenty. Um, so yeah, this is. Uh, it it sounds it's so over the top to say it and sounds ridiculous you know and and Morrison is shit but reading it you know the banter back and forth between Hal and Ollie is so um, you know it's completely on point uh, the the action is all rendered uh, brilliantly you know and you know giant arrow fired at the moon why not uh, it's it's delightful um, this is a, a fantastic issue it's it's maybe not as good as the last couple that I really liked. Um, but no, this this is great stuff. This is um, this is like an eight point five.